Bonjour, welcome to another Manchester United winners review. This is Jason from last season. That's grand. It's grand. Today, at home, Leeds Sports Village versus Crystal Palace. We win, we win the league. And what happened? We won. Manchester United winning. Pulling off a massive, another big scoreline, seven goals to nil, winning the league in style, that was the way to put it, brilliant game, champions in our first season, that's the main thing, but also, but actually, we're up into the WSL, now we just need to keep winning these last few games, if we win them like this, seven, eight nil, and a couple of nine nil, it'll be, it'll be incredible. To start it, Lauren James got the first goal on the ninth minute, getting her 13th goal of the season. Chipping it over the keeper into the goal. Just brilliant start. And then once again at the half hour mark, Lauren James coming close, just taking a long range shot, about 20 yards out. Unfortunately missing, but not to worry, one minute later, go 2 0. Tap in after a cross from Lee Galton, pushed out from the keeper right into the feet of Lizzie Arnett to make it two goals to nil. I was kind of this point when I was just like, how many will they get? Because three minutes later, it's 3 0. Lee Galton, solo effort. Getting the ball from the left, cutting inside, edge of the box, goes into the six yard box, fires a shot past the keeper, three goals to nil. Two goals there in three minutes. But anyway, then at half time, that's how it was. Three nil. Then going into it, literally almost instantly into the second half, about a minute in, probably a little less than a minute in. 4-0, and this game was done. At this point, champions. Lauren James driving forward, took the first shot, missed, went down to Ella Toon, who had a shot from range. Her shot got deflected, past the keeper by Jess Sigsworth, who got a slight touch onto it, making it four goals to nil. And then two minutes later, not quite, but almost five goals to nil. It's just shot after shot after shot, attack after attack. Palace just didn't really have anything. I don't really expect this next season. You won't see scorelines like this. But I think we could be a couple close, which you've shown this season, get into a semi-final, quarter-final FA Cup, semi-final Continental Cup. Beating teams like Brighton, a very couple of the clubs. I don't know why we can't. So then go into his couple changes, couple long shots. And actually go on about it. Eightieth minute was still four nil. Seventieth minute was the first effort on target for Palace in the seventieth minute. Yeah, kinda just shows how dominant United were. That it took seventy minutes for Palace to hit the target. Then eighty third minute goal. Lauren James finding the bottom right corner. And then three minutes later, 6 0, another goal. This time it's Charlie Devlin who had a shot from the edge of the box. Once again, Lauren James coming in with another goal. 6 0. But that's not going to be the end of it. You know, four minutes, that's loads of time. And obviously it was 7 0, the final score. This was the fourth goal of the game for Lauren James. She's been incredible from the midfield, scoring long range shots. Oh, just taking long range shots. And very well done. It was a great game. 7 0. As I said, 4 for Lauren James. Man United women, champions 
of the FA Women's Championship in her first season, going up to the WSL next year against teams like Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool. We've played Liverpool before. we played Brighton before. West Ham are up there, who we've also played this season. So we've already had loads of experience against these teams through the cup competitions and our cup runs. Expect the same thing again next season. I say they'll change up some stuff. Bring in we've already we have loads of depth. Like in the last game we played, their backup keeper. They didn't have a backup keeper, you know. Whereas we have, I think we might have three goalkeepers. I know we at least have two. But anyway, expect signings. Another massive win for Manchester United, champions of the FA Women's Championship. Looks like Tottenham will come in second, getting promoted with us. It's just been a great season. I'm not too sure how many are ne left, how many games. Don't think there's that many, but if you like for champions, <laughs> subscribe for more. And share it on wherever you want. And go follow MUWC Birmingham on Twitter. That's where I get all my updates from for the game. It was live on MUTV. I didn't watch it, but... Whenever it's not live, that's who you follow on Twitter, so you know who scores. That's where I got it from, on Twitter. Right beside me as I scroll. <laughs> so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and bye.